This is the clutch for my lathe, all put together. It has super smooth action, super easy to engage and disengage. So here's a couple things that I've decided to change. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. So here's a couple things that I've decided to change to improve this clutch mechanism. And I'm not sure how I missed this when I was designing it. There's no reason to only have a quarter inch of material for the clutch to ride on here. Really, this split should be halfway between this key and this key. So I think I'm gonna machine a fresh version of this shaft and then I'm just gonna shorten this one up. That should give just a little better engagement as far as that clutch mechanism and should prolong its overall life. I have machined the new piece. It's inside the clutch mechanism and I have it installed. And if you look right there, you can see a little line and that's now where the two shaft pieces meet. So there's about a half inch of shaft on this side. And when I flip it the other way, you can see that same line right there. And again, that's where the two shaft pieces meet. So I've got it pretty well centered. Like I said before, I'm not sure why I didn't do that to begin with, but it has made everything just a little bit more stable. The last piece in my clutch upgrade is this right here. This is my lever that allows me to go from engaged to disengaged, and it bolts in in that hole right there. It's a shoulder bolt, so tightening this down just creates a little bit of tension and then the shoulder bolt bottoms out. We have smooth clutch action and it holds in place. Another upgrade I did at the same time was to mount the stepper motor directly to the clutch shaft. If I did not have a clutch, I probably would have stuck with the original belt drive system that I had, but because I do have this clutch and can easily disengage it, direct drive is a pretty simple way to go. The only thing that I had to do to make all this work was replace this outside bracket. The original bracket was only about that thick, and that didn't allow me anything to mount the stepper motor to. So I created a whole brand new bracket, transferred all the holes, and now I can bolt my stepper motor directly to my clutch. Overall, I am extremely happy with how all this came together. If you'd like more information on building a clutch like this, make sure you check out my other video because I go into the internal components in a lot more detail. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.